<laughs> what time it is? It's uh, I'm gonna draw, man. I should be drawing right now. It is. It is almost ten thirty in the PMs. What's going on, man? You told me to film you, so here I am. Yeah. All right. Don't don't make it look like I want to do this, man. <laughs> you got any questions for me, son? State your name and purpose. My name is Felipe Smith. Um, I draw a comic book called the MBQ, and uh, I'm here to take over, man. I'm here to change things. What's wrong with with the comic book industry today yeah, that you're trying to change? Everything, man. The kids don't read comic books. A long time ago, they were written for kids. And they're still written for kids, but kids don't read them. And adults read uh, comics about superheroes and stuff like that, and which is not a common adult theme. I'm, I'm here to change that. I'm writing for adults. I'm trying to change the way people perceive comic books. Because right now, comic books are for douchebags. So I'm not having that, man. <clears throat> My comics aren't for douchebags. Who do you write for? I write for... Anybody who wants to be entertained by a well-told story. Uh, they have to be over 15 years of age. Why is that? Because uh, there's titties and violence and uh, adult situations. And usually people under 15 don't care about certain things you deal with when you're older, like making rent and uh, making enough money to have a bed and not sleep in a, in a sleeping bag. Uh, and doing what you want in life. I think when you're a kid, you don't even know what you want to do yet. So I'm not a kid anymore. I'm 28 years old. I know what I want to do. I want to make a respectable living with my art, and I want people to read comics. And that's my mission right now. Yes. It comes out, you're much more natural in front of the camera than I am, obviously. <laughs> Why is that, man? I don't know. Was this my idea? It was. We yes. need to do this, Jeff. We gotta document this shit. You like my room, dude? I'll give you a tour of my room, man. It's the VIP treatment. Yeah. This is uh this is my bed, which takes up most of my room. It's not a bed, it's a sleeping bag, but by quickly doing this, we have more room here uh we got some books on this side you got books on all sides yeah <laughs> that's why i don't have a bed i can't fit a bed in this room right now got a lot of books from japan i like reading comics from japan because they're about stuff other than superheroes or adventure or fantasy There's a lot of stories about regular people so i think regular people want to read about regular people not about Aliens or superheroes or you know things you've never seen in your life if you're looking to escape reality Maybe you want to read that but if you like reality you want to learn more about real life You want to read stories about that written by people you don't know because they can teach you something uh, This is my desk These are my two books I put out MBQ volume 1 and 2 in stores now First page of volume 1 right there you see that page and you can't get by that then you will not like my book if you have a sense of humor and are not scared you can keep going volume two first page there you go exactly uh, I'm sketching stuff out I'm supposed to be drawing volume three right now and uh, my my editor Lewis wants to kill me because I haven't done shit but uh, but now I'm on it I'm on it Lewis I'm on this uh, here's my computer. I scan all my work in. I do the screen tones on Photoshop. It's really slow right now. Um, actually, my CD drive doesn't work anymore. I'm giving mad people uh, seizures right now. Oh, really? Is this, is this screen <laughs> moving? Yeah. But anyway, I got this computer right here. Uh, it doesn't work right now. It's got a virus. I think I've been downloading too many things off the internet. Uh, I got more books here. And I got this balcony. It's kind of cold right now. 
But yeah, got a pretty cool view. Can't really tell at night time. Yeah, I'll check it out during the day. What? Oh, he's seen the doors locked. Alright. What do you think? What do you think he was looking at? I thought he was fucking shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I saw him and he was like grabbing handles going like, Ugh! That's still rolling, are you? Uh, yeah. not, not anymore, no. 